Welcome back. You may know this music by now. It's the theme for the Pittsburgh Foundation's One Day campaign designed to help people with critical needs like hunger, homelessness, lack of transportation or child care, mental and physical concerns. We've been sharing stories of how area programs are helping meet those needs, but those programs need your help. Yeah, and tomorrow is the day to do it. The Pittsburgh Foundation is hoping to raise more than $1 million for our neighbors in need. And here to tell us more about how the campaign can help feed the hungry are Phil Koch and the executive director of the Community Foundation of Westmoreland County and Mary Bodie, co-founder of the Need Community Cafe. So the pictures we were just seeing are from the Need Cafe. It is a place where people can eat for free or pay what they can. Mm -hmm. And what a great idea that is. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for being here, both of you. So you clearly saw a need, hence the name, and tell us how all of this came to be for the Need Community oh, Campaign. It, it's been an amazing journey. My husband and I wanted to do something in our community. Um, we live in New Kensington, and it's a community that needs a little helping hand sometimes. And we founded the cafe. Um, <clears throat> we are one of about 50 in the country. Um, we have a network called One World Everybody Eats. And what's unusual about our cafe is we don't have um, regular prices, a mm -hmm. standard price that a regular restaurant would have. We have suggested donations. So we like to partner with people where they're at, and there's many options. You can pay a suggested donation. Um, for those with more means that would like to help a neighbor, they can pay anything above that and pay it forward. Um, some people, if you have a few dollars or short a few, you just let us know and you can pay what you can. Wow. And for people with limited means or no means at all, they can volunteer with they us volunteer. for an hour. Yeah. Right. And um, the nice thing about that is you're not separated by anyone. We, we pretty much, we only have two paid positions. Everyone's a volunteer at the cafe. And what is been? Since you've opened up, uh, you, you have seen that there's a great need for what you envision, right? It, it, there is. Um, it's a way to enjoy a wonderful meal um, with dignity. Um, it's not a soup kitchen. We rely on people, their ability to pay it forward, as well as those to, that don't have the means that would like to enjoy the meal. So it's, a, it's been a, a wonderful community-supported venture. And so, Phil, tell us about the issues in, in Westmoreland County. We were talking about this last week. Just about what we see in Western Pennsylvania, we, we hear growth, we hear jobs and that sort of thing, but there are still people who are struggling. That's absolutely correct. Uh, we know that in our region, about 30% uh, of our population uh, are really those that are, uh, they're those that are just one car accident, uh, you know, mm -hmm. one job loss, mm -hmm. one crisis away from really falling into deep poverty. Uh, so programs like uh, the Need Community Cafe really help to address uh, those issues of food insecurity, housing, and the other uh, uh, issues being covered by the critical needs alert. And we've been talking about one day, and one day is tomorrow. Right. It's, it's right. almost upon us. Uh, it, it's really an opportunity to, to, to give and help in a way that you don't always have, right? That's abs absolutely right. Uh, a, a lot of times we want to figure out ways to give, uh, but no, no really know the, quite the right vehicles to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, this gives us an opportunity to really uh, pull all of our resources together on one day and to access uh, an incentive pool, an incentive pool that we've pulled together of $788,000 uh, so that when someone gives their donation of $25 or more, it will go that much further because of the incentive pool. It'll be supplemented. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. right. And Mary, in, with Need Cafe and with your husband, was there anything that was particularly surprising to you two once you opened up? the people who needed the assistance, the people who were helping? Um, I think that the face of, uh, of a few insecure person is not always what one might think. Right. Um, mm -hmm. That can be, uh, it can be a senior struggling uh, to make ends meet with what their, you know, what their monthly income is. Um, it could be a family. Um, we we uh, see people just as Phil had said, um, it's, it takes just one small um, issue. emergency and issue right. in their life um, and they are um, very depleted and what we um, have found is um, the goodness of community um, uh, especially with our people the volunteers how the networking has helped mm -hmm. and people that may never have had the opportunity to meet one another form some friendships and bonds and 
it's lovely to see we'll have people bring in irons one day and I'm like what's this iron for that's that little girl I met yesterday she needs an iron for her family oh, wow. just the oh, wow. networking in small ways it's beautiful yeah. it's beautiful well thank you both for joining us today yeah. we are looking forward to tomorrow again the Pittsburgh Foundation's one day is coming up tomorrow Tuesday May 7th so get ready to do your part to help neighbors in need this one day of giving giving can really make a difference in someone's life right here in our area look for more details on how to donate through the Pittsburgh Gives website. Yeah, online giving starts at 8 tomorrow morning and runs until midnight. And our thanks to the Pittsburgh Foundation for sponsoring this campaign as well as this segment here on PTL.